everyone, Jason here. Over the last year, I've been working with my good friend, Michael Gale, on this little device, which we call the PFX Brick. It's a cool little piece of LEGO compatible technology that allows you to do some pretty awesome things with your LEGO models. All the lighting, sound, and action that you saw in the models during the intro were created using one of these. And today I'm gonna to show you how I customized my helicarrier with it. Before we jump into that, we have launched a Kickstarter campaign just this week to put this into production. So if you're interested in reading more about it or even supporting it yourself, be sure to head on over there and check it out. I'll show you how the PFX brick was integrated into this model in a second, but first I wanted to show you what it actually does and how it's configured. You can control the PFX brick using any of the LEGO infrared remotes and you can completely customize what any of the controls do on any of the channels. In this case, I'm using the speed remote and I have configured channel one to control the basic lighting and the motor. The left button toggles the rotor lights on and off. The right button activates an engine glow effect on the rear engines. Pressing both of the buttons toggles the interior lights. The left jog wheel controls the brightness on all of the lights and the right jog wheel controls the speed of the motor. Channel two is configured for all of the audio playback. You can load your own audio files onto the PFX brick and I have mapped playback of four different clips to the jog wheels depending on which way you rotate them. On channel three, I've configured some more elaborate lighting effects, more for demonstration than anything else. A strobe light on the rotors, a photon torpedo effect on the engines, and a linear sweep through all of the light channels as well. And on channel four, I've configured a shutdown command, which basically just stops all light, sound, and motor activity. This model is actually pretty easy to customize. It's already designed to be motorized, so that's a bonus. And there's a lot of space inside the hull to house all the electronics. I have the PFX brick in the bay at the back here. The fact that it has a Technic frame also means there are a lot of holes to run the wiring through for the lighting. I decided to use an XL motor to drive the rotors as there's quite a bit of friction in the drive system. And I really wanted to ramp up the rotor speed gradually. For lighting, I wired 16 LEDs throughout the model. Two in each of the rotors, two in each of the engines in the back, one in the control tower, one that gets attached to the underside of the upper deck to light the landing bay, and two in the control center in the hull. I'm using custom wired LEDs for this model, but you can just as easily use brick stuff Pico LEDs, and all of the wiring runs through the hull to the PFX brick in the back. For sound, I'm using what we call the XL speaker, which you can get with the PFX brick. And to power it, I'm just using a Power Functions battery box. In this case, the rechargeable one, just because I hate going through batteries. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I had a lot of fun bringing all of these models to life using the PFX brick. I think it makes them a lot more interesting and fun to play with. Again, if you're interested in learning more about it, please head on over to the Kickstarter page. And as always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I'll see you next time.